Hi there, so I'm currently recording this on two cameras, an A7S 3 and an Osmo Pocket 3. And I've also got audio recording on this standalone audio recorder on my chest. The external audio file could also be from something like a Zoom recorder attached to a boom mic, or it could be from a separate recorder with a lav mic attached to the person you're recording. Let's import all of this into DaVinci Resolve, including the audio from this standalone audio recorder. And we'll see how we can set up a multicam clip. So here's the media imported into DaVinci Resolve. You can see the A camera here from the Sony, the B camera here from the Pocket 3 and also this file is the WAV file from the external audio recorder. The first thing we want to do is select any of the video files. I'm going to right click with both selected and come up here and choose create new multicam clip using selected clips. We'll give this a name and down here we want to make sure the angle sync is set to sound. If you're using time code you can use that, that's more advanced. In this case we're going to sync on the sound embedded in each of the video files. Once you're happy with that click create and then down here you should see a new multicam Multicam clip which you do. The next thing we want to do is add this audio file into the Multicam sequence. So right click on the Multicam clip you just created and choose open in timeline. You can see here our two cameras, camera A with its audio and camera B with its audio. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to choose add angle. We're not going to add any video for this angle 3 but what we are going to do is drag this audio from the external audio recorder onto this new audio track for angle 3. And if you want to you can click on the track and rename it to something like external audio. At the minute this audio file is not going to match up to what's in the camera's audio. So what you need to do is select everything, right click somewhere on one of the clips and come up here and choose auto align clips. Again if you've got time code you can do that but in this case we're going to use based on waveform. DaVinci Resolve has now lined up this external audio file so it matches camera A and camera B. Depending on your cameras and audio recorder you can go and right click on these audio tracks and choose to change them to mono or stereo. In this case I know all of these need to be mono including this external audio. By the way, if this is the first time we're meeting, I'm Jason. This channel is all about making better looking, better sounding and better edited video. If that's something that's interesting to you, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. All right, back to Resolve. That's the Multicam clip set up. Let's go and make use of it. I'm going to select it, right click on the Multicam clip and choose Create New Timeline using Selected Clips. We'll call this new timeline Demo Main and create that. And you can see automatically we've got our Multicam. We're going to make sure that we've got the Source Viewer open and we're going to select Multicam here. By default this button is selected which means that when you change angles it's also going to change the audio to that angle. Here we've got the audio from angle 1 which is our A camera, here we've got the audio from angle 2 which is our pocket 3 B camera and then we switch back to the audio from the A camera. So we're switching the video angles here but we're also switching the audio that goes along with those video angles which might not be what you want. Just going to undo that. If you want to use the audio from the external audio recorder regardless of what video angle is being shown shown, the first thing you need to do is come down here and right click on the audio, come over to switch multicam clip angle and then choose the external audio track that we manually added. And you can see down here we've changed to external audio. The next thing you want to do is click this button here so that when we change multicam angles it's only going to change the video and not the audio. So let's go and change angles here and back here let's change to angle 1. Notice now though the audio is not changing and it's going to be playing the audio from the external audio recorder regardless of which camera is showing the video. Just going to undo all of that. Sometimes you might want the audio from the external audio recorder to be playing underneath the main audio from the cameras. For example, you can use an external audio recorder to capture ambience, maybe at a wedding or some kind of event. What we're going to do is going to open the media pool again and we're going to drag a second copy of the multicam clip onto the timeline. Make sure both of these copies line up perfectly, otherwise you're going to end up with problems. You want to hold down Alt to select this top video track and hit backspace to delete it. If you want to, you can re name this to so something like external audio ambience and you're going to want to right click on this audio file and come up to switch multicam angle and change it to your external audio. In your multicam view here make sure that this is switched back to this mode where we're going to change both the picture and the sound and then as before we're going to change between the different camera angles. What this means is now we not only have the individual audio for each camera as we switch to it but we also have this underlying ambience which we can mix together into to the main audio from the cameras. There's so much more you can do with multicams in DaVinci Resolve. Check out this video next to learn even more tips. I'm Jason Roberts and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.